Yo, what's up guys? All right, another antenna video. So now it's gonna be the Antron 99. All right, the Antron 99, and the big problem with the Antron 99 was the misinformation about its gain. I think that's the biggest problem. It's a great antenna, actually. I like, I like the Antron 99. Half-wave antenna, it's a real easy to put together. It matches really easy. It, it's, uh, it takes up very little, um, uh, you know, space in the sky. In other words, it's, uh, it's not an eyesore. You could almost hide the antenna, you know, a lot of times paint it green, you know, put it in a tree. I mean, there, there's so many good things about this antenna, but one thing it wasn't is it did not have 9.9 .9 dB gain. I think that was the funniest thing about this antenna. Somehow, I think it was on the literature itself, and I don't know why that's why it was called a 99. Somehow it had 9.9 .9 magical DB gain. I don't know how it did, but it magically did. Just like all the other BS stuff in the CB world with antennas, like all the Mako beams magically having more DB gain than every other antenna with the same size, you know, and stuff like that. But, uh, uh, 9.9, no, okay? It doesn't have 9.9. .9. It has the same gain as pretty much all other half-wave antennas would because it's a half-wave. Half-wave antennas have a certain amount of gain, you know, typically 2, 3 dBi. That's what they have. That's what the gain is, and that's what it will have, and it does have. Um, and that's it, so. But I will say it's a great antenna, small, compact, light, easy to put together you don't even have to really match it it's uh, you know handles a good amount of power um i'd say if you're new to the cb world it's a great starter base station antenna actually my favorite for that all right guys i'm out